We're here with St. Peter's assistant coach, Phyllis Mangina, coming off a 66-58 defeat at Iona. Coach, opening statement. Um, I, I, tonight's a really tough loss for us. Uh, you know, we have to protect this home court as much as we can. And, and I thought uh, that first quarter really, I thought, affected us. We got down, what did we get down, like 10, uh, 8 or 10. I thought Iona came out really ready to go. Not that we weren't ready to go. They just came out more energy defensively more energy on the boards, and you know, we have to do a much better job on the glass. You've got to beat by 19 boards. If you get beat by 19 boards, you usually lose the basketball game. Yeah, and that, how, how big of an impact was that, getting out rebounded 38 to 19? Since I've been here, I can't, I can't remember when we've been out rebounded like that. You know, they lost to Lazarus. Uh, obviously, they're starting point guard, one of the best players in the league, didn't play tonight. And they made up for it in, in hustle, and that's on the boards. Uh, you know, I thought obviously Gilmore uh, and and Dupree did a nice job. Uh, Lewis is very good, but you can't get out rebounded by 19 boards and expect to win a game. Let's talk about some of the good things that you guys saw. Getting, you know, 14. A lot of filling the statue basically was Zoe Paro again. Talk about her impact off the bench. Oh, absolutely. You know, Zoe. Uh, you know, we recruited Zoe out of St. John Vianney. We knew one thing about her. Didn't matter if she started, didn't start. Uh, her energy level, uh, her intensity level would always be very high. Uh, and we're seeing that. And now, now she's starting to slow down a little bit offensively, uh, being more impactful on the offensive end. But defensively, just rebounding, deflections, uh, hustle plays, uh, I think it's really starting to become infectious on the team. Uh, and you can, she's getting more and more minutes. What's she at? 29 tonight. Um, you know, another double-digit scoring night. And just a real, I mean, we put her on, we put her on Lewis tonight, we put her on Gilmore at times tonight. So, uh, obviously, uh, she's a really positive impact on the team. And, um, you know, she's continuing to get better. Looking at the minutes, Sammy Lockner played the team high 34 minutes, only went over 30. What did she do with the ball that you noticed uh, at times? You know what, I think, you know, we think that's probably a couple minutes too many just because of the kind of pressure she's under. But tonight we needed her on the floor, uh, just handling a pick and roll situation when they're, they're really coming out and pressuring us. Um, you know, Sammy's done a good job for us. Uh, shot the ball decently tonight at times, made a couple of shots, had some great looks at the rim, missed one or two laps. But uh, we're getting, we got to get her under a little more control where she's only had four turnovers. She had four turnovers, like one or two were in really difficult situations. But, you know, she gets a set in offense. Uh, she's really starting to understand what we're looking for offensively. And again, you know, we're, we're putting her under, you know, we throw her in the fire as a freshman and she handles everything. Uh, I think she's getting better defensively. And as she continues to learn our offense and learn the players around her, uh, we'll see her assist total get up higher. And you guys trim the lead down all the way down to six points. Yeah. What do you guys need to do going further to get over that hump and push forward? Well, little things. We had, we missed three layups in that stretch where it was a four-point game. We should have had a two-point lead. Uh, so we've got to finish. And we talk to the players all the time. you gotta, you got to make layups. And then you can't give up easy plays. Like, like twice we didn't box out on the free throw line, and they got second shot opportunities. So just a couple of small things that we've got to tweak. Um, we have to execute a little better offensively at times. But I have to tell you, I mean, our shots were there. Uh, we, we missed a couple of open shots. I'd have to go in and... You know, we're working at it. The kids are in the gym every day. The young ladies are in the gym every day working at that. So uh, we're in a positive direction. This is just a tough loss tonight for us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.